today is World Day Against Trafficking in Persons. It would probably be a surprise to, to most people as they go about their normal lives that no matter where they are in the country, be it in urban or a rural setting, that they are probably in close proximity to someone who has either been trafficked or uh, is currently experiencing being trafficked. Uh, trafficking does not follow uh, typical patterns or even a stereotype of victims. It is not all about sex trafficking or what occurs in brothels or is participated in by people uh, that are other and uh, other than ourselves. Uh, we can all be un unwittingly complicit in benefiting from people trafficking in the services we procure to our, for our businesses, for our homes, um, where the offer of an organised service at a domestic level appears to be extremely reasonable. What is the real cost in human terms? Terms of that suffer uh, in, in human suffering. Are the workers voluntarily working? Do they show signs of distress? Are they working long hours? Do, where do they live? Uh, can they move freely? Are they being disciplined harshly? Uh, are, are they having fines imposed on them? We've seen cases go through the Workplace Relations Commission in recent years where people have been subject to domestic abuse, trapped in homes, paid a pittance, fined for infractions. We've even had people being made to be paid uh, to pay for uh, the balance of their contract when they have a desire to return home. Um, do we as a society inspect or consider uh, the supply chain for our, our cheap goods, our cheap clothes, the cobalt in our mobile phones? Do we consider the misery brought uh, that was incurred in, the, in our latest acquisition? It's absolutely reasonable and fair that, as, and that we have a national conversation that slavery should stop. That of the past, that of our attitudes, our inherent racism, that of our inbuilt prejudice that we all have a duty to become sensitised to and to become self-aware of. But while doing so, we also need a national conversation um, that needs to challenge the slavery we are benefiting from today, the, the minute choices that we make in the goods and services we get. I believe that the Shannon is the perfect forum for this conversation, and I'm asking you to Deputy Leader, to accommodate that in the schedule of this House. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh,